This game is tea and is not suitable for kids. <laughs> Don't let your kids watch it! Ah, spoiler alert! Hey there, honey! And guess. It's here! It's finally here! Welcome to Miles Edgeworth Ace Attorney Investigations to Prosecutor's Path. By far the longest title in the Ace Attorney series. Guys, you have no idea how excited I am for this Let's Play. Like, this only ever Let's Play that comes close to the excitement level for me is our first Ace Attorney Let's Play. Th this game is so... I really don't want to overhype it, but this is my favorite game in the Ace Attorney series. I would say this is objectively the best Ace Attorney game in the series. And on top of it, this is also the game that Japan was like, you guys didn't really want uh, this game, right? We're going to make this game super good, but you don't really want it. Then they, Japan never released it in America. So thanks to an amazing team who translated this game for us, holy cow, it is an A-plus translation patch, like, better than the actual translations in some ways. Like, it, I am blown away. Just keep reminding yourself that it's a translation patch on the way. And by the way, Marty's here again. Yeah, well. I've been quiet because Artie was like giving his full I'm speech. I'm so freaking He's excited. He's been excited for this for months. For Actually, so he had long. been talking about this specific Let's Play while we were still doing, I think, the second game. And I was like, yes. okay, uh, like, chill okay. out. We I'm really there. afraid that I'm overhyping this for Marty. It's okay. But I'll just... But it's your favorite. Like, you gotta. It, this you is know? my favorite. Most people who play this, this is either their favorite or second favorite. Okay. It, it's so good. The... One of the best stories in okay. any video game I've ever played. I, I could literally go on for like... I, uh, I could write a thesis. Start. <laughs> <laughs> I could literally write a thesis on why this game is so good. But I'll, I'll just say this up front. There are no bad cases in this. This is the only Ace Attorney game where I love every case. Interesting. I can't yes, wait to see how this so is going to be then. It's so good. Also, this is from best, 2011. This okay. is 2011, yes. Yeah. Okay, and I'll, I'll I'll just one thing. The reason that they didn't release it in America is because Investigations One. Did there's so there's badly. a couple reasons. So Investigations One came out in 2009, and it, there are a couple reasons it didn't do so well. For one, it was the weakest game in the Ace Attorney series. Number number two, they really didn't advertise it all that much. Yeah, like people in America barely even I never knew it really came heard out. About it. And it was also a spin-off game. So sure. e e if you had it's never played the whammy. Ace Attorney, it was like the triple whammy. So they basically said, oh, because nobody really bought Ace Attorney 1, but they probably don't want the second game. But then they made the second game super amazing. Okay, Anyhow, okay, let's just play. Let's new just game. Play. We're on episode one, Turnabout Target. This is the case where Edgeworth goes to Target to get some hair care products and then uh, <laughs> finds a dead body in the parking lot and has to prove that he didn't <laughs> run the body over. No, just that, kidding. <laughs> And guess who that silhouette is? Ooh. Ooh. All right. Okay. Also, also, the opening cutscenes have very fast text for some reason. Okay, I'll, I'll be so, on my game. I'll be on my game. No, you don't have to do anything, but oh. I'll, I'll just be talking fast. All right, three, two, one, go! Oh, flying. Okay. There it is! We can see it! It's the Emissary of Peace from the East! The President's private plane is arriving at Gord Lake! Of course it is! Freaking Gord Lake. Can you hear it? The cheers of the crowd! Welcome, Zane Fa Republic! Welcome, Mr. President! Oh my gosh, is it Mr. President from Sonic? Mr. President, this way please. Your audience awaits. My dear friends, there is a reason for my visit. A few days ago, a smuggling ring that has long plagued my nation was exposed and crushed. This was possible thanks to your country's prosecutor's office. From the bottom of my heart, I convey unto them my utmost gratitude. However, the battle is still not over. I declare, here and now, the hammer of justice shall be brought down upon all evil! Is that the judge's brother? Ah! Everyone goes running. Take him down. Hurry! Contact the prosecutor's office! We need that man! Miles Edgeworth. Why? If there's anyone who can solve this case, it's him. Yeah, Edgeworth. What? <laughs> Look at that smug Okay, pose. if you needed any evidence for the tone of this game and how awesome it is, the first case opens with a presidential assassination. <laughs> I'm just saying that. And also, best soundtrack in the series. March 25th, 4, 2.46 p.m., Gordon Lake Park, 
audience area. This game also follows up perfectly from the first Investigation. Yeah, yeah, game. It, it goes together. But also, this game is amazing as a standalone game. You can play this and play in any other Ace Attorney game, and it's really good. And it's the perfect end to the DS games okay, as a whole. Okay, okay. Uh, Except Apollo, because right, I can't take right. those afterwards. Word of this must have reached every corner of the world by now. Gumshoe! An assassination attempt on the president of the Republic of Zane Fa. Yeah, we remember that place. Uh, that's where the cloth was in the Lang airplane Z case. Says. <laughs> yeah, and <laughs> Agent Lane was there. Yeah, he was there. My name is Miles Edgeworth. I am a prosecutor. I was asked to investigate this grave incident, but upon my arrival... Mr. Edgeworth! Why is he always around? Always. We've been waiting for you, sir! This man is Dick Gumshoe. He's a detective with the local precinct who assists me on all cases under my jurisdiction. That's why. What is the president's current condition? I'm still not sure, sir. The paramedics just entered the plane a few minutes ago. I see. I hope it's nothing too serious. Very well, detective. Please show me around the crime scene. Roger that, sir. So there's a red carpet, so a lot of oh, blood stains. Oh, this is stains. you. A lot of blood stains would be covered. Um, hey, mister, just a minute. I'm begging you. I don't know who this is. Oh, no. What the? Hmm? What's this? Who the frick is this? <laughs> Misty, you're the prosecutor in charge of these <laughs> parts, right? I don't know. Can I ask you a little something real quick? I don't know who this is. I need to see a picture of I'm them. afraid I must <laughs> refrain from commenting for now. Let's go, detective. Who's this weirdo with headphones? Hey, wait! Mr. Prosecutor! H hold on, Mr. Edgeworth! Wait for me, sir! Now then, detective... Care to fill me in on the details? Can you hear the music all right? Or should oh, I? Or should I turn? Maybe, maybe turn it up a smidge. Beautiful. All right. Also, I love the bodyguards over there. Oh man, I'm here to take the senior photos <laughs> for. Uh... Oh whoa! I heard. Okay, one one of the only complaints I have about this game is some of the in-game art looks a little off. Um, <laughs> this is like the second version of Soli from Monsters <laughs> Inc. Dodgeball with him with his hand up. Also, Ugh. the president, like, is working out. Look at them abs. How, how do you have a six-pack through a suit? <laughs> well, you can see he's, like, the whole. This guy is Aslan in human form. <laughs> from what? Why in the Witch of the Wardrobe? Uh, kind of. He looks like a lion. He's got he a looks, mane. He does have a mane. He kind of looks like... And I think this is because I've just watched a bunch of Marvel films. He looks like every superhero guy from every Marvel film. Oh, boy. Because every single Marvel film, for some reason, has, like, an obligatory, like, oh, we gotta have the guy shirtless for this scene. <laughs> of course. For no reason. Wasn't he wearing a shirt, shirt like, two, like, two seconds, seconds ago? ago? It's that. And every anime or, like, uh, dating sim game, right? <laughs> uh, no, not really. Basically, the whole thing happened here in Gord Lake Park. There was a big welcoming event for the president of the Republic of Zane Fa. With them muscles. Ugh. <laughs> <laughs> See here, when you go to Target, looked... you can get one free hair gel <laughs> with every purchase. He looks... I looked at it, and because my eyes are bad, I thought he was just flipping off everyone. <laughs> I thought that's what it was, because he looks so mad. This is what I think of all of this you. This I think of this. It's like, Zane Fa president arrives for his visit. <laughs> Screw <laughs> you. <laughs> It's a special edition. Daily Express. Yeah, keep in mind, translation team had to tra translate everything, even in, like, the still images. Yeah. Also, they may have made, they had may have had to make a custom, like, objection theme. That made me. And also, there are new objection voices in this, all done by the fan translation team, and they are amazing. Yeah, with I'm sure. With one exception. Uh, with one kind of exception. Objection. <laughs> Not that bad, Not though. Not that bad. The president yeah. of Zane Fa, Di Jun Huang, also Di known as Dijon Di Mustard. Di Jun Huang. Is it Huang? I, I think all three of those words are Japanese, Chinese words for keen or something. As I recall, newspapers and news programs were making quite a deal over his visit. <laughs> yes, it's great. Newspaper article data jotted down in my organizer. Yeah, this is a very good <laughs> translation so far. Oh, you've seen nothing yet. Like, they they do crazy things with wordplay and puns. Where it's like Maggie Bird. Like Oh, way like, better than that. 
way better than that. That's awesome. Like, people constantly making puns off of various names. So I'm like, how did they do this? And apparently they're like, oh, we screwed up so bad. It's way better than Jeff. I'll, I'll trust you on that. It rained a bit, but then it stopped just before his plane landed. It's probably a lot of kanji play, mm -hmm. which is what happens for puns. Yeah. He came out, and all of a sudden, in the middle of his speech, Bane! A gunshot! At least, I think it was. What would it have been instead? You think? Truth is, I just got here as well, so I don't know all the details, sir. So you were also called here on short notice? Yup. And today was supposed to be my day off! And I was supposed to be at the High Prosecutor's office, preparing a case for trial. The Chief Prosecutor asked for you personally, sir. The Chief Prosecutor? The Chief Prosecutor was taking part in the welcoming event. Apparently, the Chief called out right after the incident occurred. That was the old guy who said we needed Edgeworth. <laughs> <laughs> Call Prosecutor Edgeworth. He's the only one who could solve this case, he said. I see. Well, he must have played Ace Attorney Investigations 1, where I had spent five hours taking down Miss, uh, Master Ugwe. Yeah, Master Ugwe. <laughs> so that's what happened. Oh, yeah. Spoiler alert for every previous Ace Attorney game that came out. Yeah, because we reference a lot of things like Von Karma's Spa Day. Not stuff. even that. I'm just saying we're going to spoil like, oh, remember how Christoph Gavin killed all those people, people? in the last game? <laughs> remember when, like, Dahlia was exercised? <laughs> remember when Dahlia exercised? Oh, it was the <laughs> hardest jog ever. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> After the incident, we sealed off the park right away. Which means the assassin is still in the park. Ooh, intrigue. Is it Wesley? Is it the weirdo who was like, Hey, what's up, bro? <laughs> Wesley? That's a good name? <laughs> no! I'm saying... Oh, no, okay. that was a different game. Crap. That was Wesley Stickler. No, I, I was talking about the weirdo who was yeah, peeping, in the crowd. peeping through An the crowd. An assassin in this crowd. This could be dangerous, sir. I'm looking for people who stick out weirdly mm -hmm. in terms of like, there's a guy in the front with a baseball cap. <laughs> Actually, the guy all the way to the left kind of looks like Phoenix Wright in the later games. <laughs> okay, a little that, bit. A it's little bit. Yeah, yeah, I see that. If there is another incident, these civilians could get in harm's way. This game takes place 10 days after uh, uh, Investigations Ooh, 1. There's a guy with like what I would like to call the struggle man ring. Where he's like, Slur is starting to go bald, but he's got we like We really the need to just get started with the plot. Nah, it's fine. Everybody <laughs> loves, loves us. There's another incident these civilians could get in harm's way. This is a race against time. Let's begin the investigation. First, we investigate the crime scene and gather some information. Precisely. There's no mistaking it. The president was targeted with a gun. Oh yeah, Logic. Logic's back. I've never heard of this. Hmm, this is something I'll have to keep in mind. Detective Gumshoe? Where was security at the time of the gunfire? Oh, I forgot to- <laughs> Darn it, I forgot to ask what your premonitions for this game was. That's fine. Oh, well, uh, the only thing I'm looking at right now is the fact that the president hired a pair of twins to be their bodyguards. <laughs> yeah, I, f I was going to ask before we started, like, what do you think is going to happen in this game? I asked you a little bit on vacation. Uh, Marty wants there to be a train, a case on the train. I want a case on the train. And she said, I want anybody to come back except for Maggie Bird or Lotta Hart. Or, honestly, Old Bag. I don't really want old bag either. <laughs> if I you want, had to like, choose one of those to come back, which would you want it to be? Of, the, of, of those, those three, three, old bag. <laughs> I think Maggie Bird is the last character you Maggie want. Maggie Bird? I'm sorry. <laughs> She's awful. Uh, Maggie said. Bird, I hate oh, her yeah. voice. And also, take a look at the five silhouettes on the bottom of the oh, screen. Oh, okay. So um, we got Edgeworth. Um, we got Zelda. <laughs> yep, Zelda's <laughs> in this game. We've got um, Chick from first game. Can't think of her name right now. K. K. We've got... Um, Angel Man. Who's Angel Man? <laughs> that guy. Oh, oh. <laughs> Angel Man. No, that's Toon Link. He's got the Wind Waker. <laughs> no, it's Pit. Um, and oh, then there's and then um, Von Karma. Not, <laughs> okay. not, not, not that's not, your guess. Not Von Karma, but like Manfred. No, Manfred wouldn't exist. Seriously though, <laughs> tell me that's not Zelda. Like that looks. <laughs> that looks like Zelda. Actually, it looks like Ninian. Where? Oh yeah. A Where was bit. security at the time of the gunfire? The police were only in charge of guarding the park's perimeter. The president was being protected by his own personal bodyguards. It's those guys over there. Why don't you try talking to them, sir? They seem friendly. To talk to someone, press the A button while standing near them. Yeah, okay. Mr. Edgeworth, the bodyguards aren't over there. Yes, I wanted to talk to the guy taking pictures of us creepily, though. <laughs> Press the A button to talk with the bodyguards in front of the airplane. I'm just Fine. taking gumshoe senior photos. <laughs> what do you want? 
you are the president's bodyguards, correct? What was the president's security detail like during the speech? The president had his two best men by his side. The rest were stationed near the stage area. We are professionals. We constantly kept our eyes on the crowd, scanning for any signs of suspicious activity. I see. In other words, security was flawless during the president's speech. Any suspicious person would have been noticed, which means probably one of the guys is a killer. Let's keep one, going. One twin is <laughs> totally sane. The other twin, crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Let's keep going. We should talk to other people and examine anything suspicious. I also like how the, the logic system is what babies you way less in this game. It's not like, the guy has a bullet hole in his chest. There was a gun nearby. Therefore, he was shot with that gun. Oh, oh <laughs> yes! You're so smart. No, this, it's actually, like, better. I can see him with, like, the, like, face, like, the autopsy report was just updated. <laughs> <laughs> that only happens once, by the way. <laughs> in order to collect the remaining pieces of information from the scene of the crime. Hmm. Who is this weirdo? I see, so that's how you round up your info. So what do you do with all the in info after it's squared away? Someone in the crowd is making quite a ruckus, but I don't have time for that now. Yes you do, I want to talk to them! Are they a guy? Are they a girl? They're a girl. Hey! Mr. Prosecutor! Tell me how, please! After gathering some pieces of information, you try to find the connections between them. Detective! You remembered how logic works! <laughs> hey now, don't be such a stick in the mud! What's this about finding conclusions? I swear, if this is a lot of heart, it's but she not. cut her hair... <laughs> you connect the two pieces of information that share a link. That's Mr. Edgeworth's specialty! It's called logic, pal! He, only he can use it! <laughs> Press the L button to use logic and the X button to connect my thoughts. I should start by pressing the L button to use logic. The L button? On a DS. There is no- oh yes, there is an L button. <laughs> yes, there is. I forgot- Shooting the president. <laughs> Security during the speech. Ooh, <laughs> thinking really hard? Yes! <laughs> Someone was able to fire a gun under flawless security. And they were able to avoid being spotted by professional bodyguards. They were hiding in the jet engine. This is no easy task. There had to be a certain amount of preparation beforehand. Yeah, that's how presidential assassinations generally work. You have it's, to be prepared. It's very likely that the president's assassination was a premeditated crime. Yeah! No, duh, Sherlock! Okay, Edgeworth, <laughs> so smart. I expected nothing less from Mr. Edgeworth. What brilliant logic, sir. At least he remembers how to use it in this game. Mm -hmm. Yes, well, when you follow the facts and find a, con a connection, you will begin to see the truth. But up. However, if the information doesn't line up properly, I may stray farther from the truth. But if I think carefully before piecing the leads together, the logic should flow. Now can we please meet this Begin investigation, Gordon Lake Park Stage. Okay. okay! Let's start by examining everything we can. To examine, I approach anything that looks suspicious and press the A button. That girl's suspicious. And if I want to consult with Gumshoe, I press the Y button. Walk. Excuse me, I had pizza before coming here. Did you really? No. Oh. <laughs> this is... Yeah, I was surprised too. No matter how you look at it, it's definitely... The Steel Samurai. Of course, he's in every game. <laughs> oh, I didn't even look at that. The Steel Samurai. Warrior of Neo Old Tokyo, a hero from a popular TV program. Popular with both children and adults, it has broad appeal. Wait, he's drowning? <laughs> Why would they use a Steel Samurai balloon at the oh, welcome it's, event, it's a, sir? Oh, it's a balloon. It's a giant inflatable, yeah. I thought it was a guy. I'm like, <laughs> oh, maybe it's someone drowned him out. Perhaps he was chosen as the hero to represent our country. We were only trying to drown <laughs> no, her! Because nothing says America like a samurai. <laughs> <laughs> I won't rest until I've inspected every suspicious nook and cranny. Yeah, this groovy music. And this is, the like, the worst music in the game. <laughs> These flowers were delivered from a foreign country. I don't even know their names. Yeah! My favorite flowers are roses and carnations. Because when I see roses, I think of weddings. And when I see carnations, I think of birthday parties. You're probably just thinking about all of the cake you're allowed to eat. P please don't be so blunt about it, sir! Poor Gumshoe. <laughs> Poor Gumshoe. It's the flag of the Republic of Zane Fa. Its symbol appears to be a phoenix motif. Hmm? This is... What is it, sir? Haven't you noticed? There's an unusual spot on this flag. Yeah, I think someone spilled wasabi on it. <laughs> in America. In America. <laughs> there's, a, there's wasabi in America. <laughs> yeah. Compare it to the flag on the opposite side of the stage. Hmm. 
There isn't a speck of dirt on it! This flag is spotless, sir! Yes, that is what the flag is supposed to look like. However, there is one spot on this flag that is out of place. Wh where is it, sir? Please explain it so I can understand. What a helpless man. I suppose I should point it out to him. Move the cursor to the unusual spot on the flag and press the X button to present it. Uh, I mean, you know. <laughs> you know me. I don't see an unusual spot anywhere at all, sir. <sighs> Sorry. Seems I made a mistake. Better slap myself. I should take a closer look. Yeah, yeah, that's that's fine. It was here. Yeah. Did they reuse Edgeworth's thing? Yes, all of the characters who had previous objection clips they reused. But there's a lot. So all new characters. Th this is what I like because this game. Yeah, they bring back old characters. There are a lot of new characters. So good. It's, so, so it's, it's not just. Yeah, like... I know in Investigations was well. Is it gonna be this guy or this, this girl? They're the only two new, new people. people. <laughs> this it's like even if it's like oh wow like four people came back. It's also like, yeah, but like five new characters got introduced. So that I really like that. There's an unusual hole in this flag. Ah, you're right. J judging from the burn marks around the hole. It appears to be a bullet hole. Oh, it's a hole. A bullet hole? Then the bullet from the gun must have gone through the flag! No one could solve this? Really? <laughs> Only Edgeworth can use logic. Only Edgeworth. Only Harry can fly well on blooms. <laughs> <laughs> Poor Steel Samurai Balloon! He looks so miserable. Indeed. What did it do to deserve such a fate? According to witnesses, a gunshot was heard when the balloon popped. Did a bullet from the gun hit the Steel Samurai Balloon? That would've... Ooh. That would've been loud. Maybe it was an assassination attempt on the Steel Samurai! To desecrate the Steel Samurai like this, this is a serious crime. Nice. <laughs> Detective, we must not let this re reprehensible assassin get away with this. Of course, sir! Steel Samurai balloon data jotted down in my organizer. And as always, Marty, whenever you get theories, feel free to interrupt it with them. Yeah, I'm not getting much yet, though. We're also pretty... still invest investigating the Yeah, so. we don't even know what the new person is. I want to meet hmm. them. I seem to have gathered a few pieces of pertinent information. Now to calmly use some logic and figure out if any of them are connected to each other. Let's get them. But there's more to examine. Hey, bros. Hey, bros. What's the president's condition? I already forgot the voice I gave. We cannot divulge that information to anyone in this country. That's it. Hey, don't say that! We want to investigate the plane too, pal! No one shall pass. Oh! Sorry, Gandalf. I don't think I trust- they tr trust the police here at all. I was talking to the other one earlier, so if they have a different voice, it's fine. Yeah. <laughs> this could develop into an international like, incident. They're both look exactly the same. One of them's like, beat it, kid. And one of them's like, No, <laughs> 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 oh, you can't enter the plane! You can't enter the plane! No. <laughs> Why do people watch our Let's Play videos? <laughs> <laughs> Time is of the essence. We have no choice but to find the assassin. I mean, we don't really know who's- Oh, oh, picture guy first. Mm. What is he taking pictures of? Oh, the hammer of justice shall be brought down upon all evil! It looks like he's reading the speech notes on the floor, sir. Guide to public speaking free. Speak slowly and yell loudly with confidence, it says. Well, I couldn't speak slowly during the opening because the text went by so fast. I see! So that's how it's done! I guess I'll take another photo! I have an objection to his behavior at work. Meanwhile, Edgeworth's just like, um... Have you found any traces of the assassin? Oh, different forensics guy. Nope, not at all, sir. <laughs> no fingerprints or footprints of any kind. <laughs> I don't know why the forensics guys are my favorite. <laughs> it's because everybody's touching everything and walking wherever they want. <laughs> Detective, don't you think that we hire the people with the weirdest voices to be in forensics? Don't you think that was a bit out of line? Uh, I agree, sir. I'll report it and see that it shows up on his next salary assessment. <laughs> next salary assessment's like, dude, you gotta change your voice. <laughs> <laughs> Try Boris. Try that. Boris. <laughs> a gun was fired during the president's speech. I remember when I had to give a speech in grade school. A gun was fired then, too. <laughs> what an awful day. <laughs> Right in the middle of my speech, an earthquake broke out and shook the classroom, Dang! Sir. Oh, That's wow. intense. That really is awful. I don't do well with earthquakes myself. Huh? Are you listening to me? You're ignoring me, aren't you, sir? Walk down. Let's talk. Ah, Mr. Prosecutor! How's this here investigate- How's this here investigation coming along? Hmm, it's that woman from before. I cannot disclose any details concerning the investigation to the general public. Aww! Help a gal out here, Mr. Prosecutor! 
<sighs> At this rate, I ain't never gonna face my mentor, Lada. Are you kidding me? <laughs> it's not Lada, though. <laughs> she just has the same personality. <laughs> she kind of does. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just gonna. She's just, it's not Lada, though. <laughs> she's Lada Heart 2.0. The newer model. <laughs> yep. Hmm. That name just now sounded you, familiar. You know how the Nintendo Switch, like, came out with a new version just with, like, a longer battery life? That's her. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, is she Vada 2.0 or is she Vada Light? <laughs> Once I see her up close, we'll find out if she's It's probably Lata just my imagination. All I right. was like, I hear oh, wait, a no, southern no. drawl. Nope. Ba, ba, right, we gotta ba, talk to Gumshoe ba. first. Nobody needs to talk to Gumshoe. Yes, sir! I can't wait for Kay to come back. The so rain! Say, yeah. It stopped, sir. It was pouring right up until the president arrived. Even the mist after the rain has cleared up. Were you looking forward to the rain? I plan to go fishing at the lake. Rain gives you a better chance at a big catch, sir. Yeah, Animal Crossing taught us that. And Harvest Moon. During the president's welcoming event, all regular activities in the park were prohibited. It's not a regular activity! There's no activity more special to me than fishing in the lake! Detective Gumshoe? No court of law would recognize that as a special activity. Even in the midst of such a momentous case, the detective is still his usual self. Yeah, you gotta be. Detective Gumshoe, I assume you understand how to conduct an investigation? Of course, sir! The basis of any good investigation is collecting information. Examine suspicious objects, talk to suspicious people. Press the A button to examine objects and talk to people. Also, each person may have something different to say about the evidence you've collected. You can present evidence from your organizer to the people you're talking to, sir. Press the R button to go over the evidence that I've collected in my organizer. And press the X button when talking with someone to present evidence to them. He looks so smug about it. He's like, yeah, the I'm button. the only one who knows logic. It's, I've, I've been with you for so long, Mr. Edgeworth. I've pretty much got the most of the basics down. And that's pretty much why you still haven't been promoted, Detective. Wow. That's harsh. As someone who struggles learning a lot of new stuff uh, at my job, you, you know? You do? I I wouldn't know that. I mean... You're I, better off than I am at the moment. Because I'm just, like, trying to figure out everything at college and stuff. Uh, the different stages of life, that's all. Mm, Gathering information <laughs> will be the key to solving this case. You could never have your job. <laughs> oh, and I could never have, I'm sure, whatever job you end up getting. <laughs> After you collect enough information, try to find connections between them, sir. Connect the pieces of information that share a link. Yes, that's right. We'll use the logic to pursue the truth. Press the L button to look over the information I've collected. Man, this game's like holding your hand here. Okay, you don't have to talk to him here. Then press the X button. <laughs> this is literally just like, I literally forgot the controls, basically. All right, I'm looking forward to witnessing some of your amazing logic, logic today, today, sir. sir. <laughs> Did I mention that you can use logic? <laughs> Such a tiny object. I'm surprised you don't lose it. It is an identification badge for us prosecutors, after all. I see. It must be tough. If it were me, I'd definitely lose it, sir. I'm always losing my police badge. Having such a talent for losing things must be tough. Alright. Enough. We really gotta logic it up. Logic, Rup rupture logic, balloon. Logic. Burst at the time of the gunshot was it hit by the bullet. And the flag. flag. with the bullet hole. Decorated has a bullet hole. The president was targeted during his speech. It Let's was like... Let's do the flag and the rupture balloon, I'm pretty sure. You are correct, sir. Cool. You're smart. Eh. As a result of the gunshots, there is a bullet hole in a flag and a ruptured balloon. That must mean two shots were fired, sir. If we include the shot that hit the president, it's possible that three shots were fired in total. No, it's also possible that the flag and the balloon were punctured by the same bullet. I thought it said punched. If only we could be certain about the number of gunshots. We can check the... Investigation complete. Now then, let's continue the investigation. Hmm. Hey! Mr. Prosecutor! If you find anything new, could you please let me know? I've been wondering for a while now, but who exactly is that woman? I thought she was just a nosy onlooker, but it looks like she's investigating too. Hey! Please, I'm begging ya! I love this music, by the way. In order to figure out how many shots were fired, we'll need to talk to, to a witness. It can't be helped. Let's try talking to her. Ah! Mr. Prosecutor! She looks so familiar. The name's Nicole Swift. Just between you and me, this case is gonna be my exclusive scoop. <laughs> so, a lot of 2.0 or a lot of light? <laughs> she looks like... 
Mr. Prosecutor, I got a question for you. I got a question for you. Um, <laughs> I can't decide if she looks okay. like a Vocaloid or if she looks like <laughs> Marty. She's a wearing she's wearing an iFly jumper. Oh no! <laughs> Exclusive. And they also had to translate all those words. I'm guessing. Yep. Miss Swift, is it? Could you tell me what you? So how are your investigation coming along? I do like that pose of hers. <laughs> Y'all got a suspect yet? Where'd you get that frilly Do hickey around your neck? Could you please stop talking for a moment? I will be the one asking the questions. Was this an interrogation? I reckoned I was gonna get myself an interview. I'd like to know how many gunshots were fired. Can you please tell me what you saw? Well, I guess. I ain't telling you nothing. What? Well, it depends on info. I ain't giving that up that easy. Don't be selfish, pal. Won't you please cooperate with us? Selfish? If you ain't gonna share no info with me, then I'm gonna go get my info from somewhere else! <laughs> wait, wait a minute, pal. That's not what the dialogue said. If I wait, are you gonna give me what I want? If not, adios, amigos. She won't budge. We're at a stalemate here. A stalemate? I wonder about that. What, what do you mean, sir? As you know, chess is one of my hobbies. How does one go on in the offensive against a defensive opponent? There are many tactics available on the chessboard. R really? I don't know much about chess. I prefer checkers. Same. Even if it appears to be a flawless defense, there is always an opening. Observe as I break down her defense with my words. Oh my words. gosh. In order to get her to talk... I'll need to use the right strategy. Using the image of a chess game, I need to stay one step ahead of my opponent. Are we just gonna have to play chess with people every single time? Yes. Yes, we and are. And Edgeworth teleports them to the magical chess dimension. <laughs> it's like, no, it's like wizard's chess. Now then, let's analyze the situation. Until you give me some info, my trap's sealed shut. Oh, it's kind of like, this um, is the new Cyclops, gimmick. Of, this is the new gimmick of the game, and I really like it. She has her guard up, so this is her defensive strategy. If I waste too much time, she may grow impatient. I need to pay attention to the time limit on the bottom screen. Okay. I must not be careless with my words. When my opponent becomes agitated or aggressive... I told you I ain't talking! You're stubborn as a mule! For example, during times like this, I should calmly wait and see how things play out. The moment my opponent shows an opening, I'll be able to strike. First, I should ask about her identity. Marty, you're playing this now. Why? Because of the time limit. That oh, actually plays... That, that plays in a role, so I can't just be like, what should we press? Okay, so, hang on. You, you can't... So, use the arrow keys here, and uh, X is confirm. Okay, do I, like... Okay. Now, let us begin. This is not... Begin logic, I'm yes. so bad at chess! It has nothing to do with chess. It's just the motif. First, could you tell me your occupation? No way! If I told you, then you might get the wrong idea. Okay. The wrong idea? In other words, it's a job that you cannot tell others about? I never said that! I ain't some kind of suspicious person! So, anytime you get a choice, the timer is counting down, so you have to do something. That, yeah. I'm just your run-of-the-mill model citizen. Please excuse my rudeness. I did not mean to offend you. I may not know the details of your job, but I'm sure that it is a reputable one. Hmm? Well... Y you might be giving me too much credit there. I ain't even done any major articles yet. An article writing job? Wait and see. Heh. <laughs> I heard you mention articles just now. Does your job involve writing articles by any chance? Dang nabbit! That, that's right. I'm an investigative reporter. Bonafide up-and-coming news journalist. Try to make her a little different from Lada's voice. How? It's a southern gal. I have one <laughs> southern voice. No, you don't. Hey, y'all, I didn't read that. <laughs> what? Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well. All right, I broke down her first line of defense. She may already have some information about the case. This will be my next line of questioning. And any anytime you break one of her pieces, oh, you get a full time meter. Simul okay. This is where the real battle begins. I'll need to draw out even more information from her. Were you pres present at the time of the incident? Mm, I'm 
Mr. Prosecutor, how about some of that info you promised me? No, ladies first. I insist. I told you my trap's sealed shut! You ain't getting my info that easily! Talk or I'll arrest, arrest you! you? Wait and see. <laughs> I gotta do this right. This is my livelihood here. Please, I'm begging you. If you stick your head in too deep, you may be putting yourself in danger. Uh, I'm a pro, after all. A few gunshots? Don't, don't scare me. <laughs> I'll admit, you're dedicated to your job. However, you still have much to learn. The fact that you heard the gunshots clearly means that you were present during the incident. You must have seen something. B busted again. Love the music here. I'm gonna say that literally for every song. You again. are. You you like own a lot of the soundtrack too. I have like half of the you soundtrack, have half of it. I think. I just happened to be here covering the speech and then that's when it all went south. That's all, I swear. I ain't saying another word. So she was here to write an article about the speech. She should still have the materials she gathered for her article. Hmm, this could be a useful clue. Does this girl come back a lot? I cannot come for more. Uh, is this gonna become Maggie Bird 2.0 where I don't know what voice I, to do? I just think you need to decide on a voice. Please don't make it exactly the same as Lada's voice, just so- I uh, didn't sorry. read that again! Sorry, uh, blah 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 blah, news material. Yeah. <laughs> if you want it that bad, give me some info first! Uh, there we go. No, you first. Show me what you've gathered. Honest to Betsy, I don't know what you're talking about. Let me try using that clue. You must still have the materials or wait and see. Are you telling me that you came here to gather material and you left empty-handed? You should still have the materials you collected with you. Th that's darn tootin'! I'm a pro! I collect info with my own two feet! I collect info with my own two feet. <laughs> that's why I ain't giving up without a fight! As the prosecutor in charge of this case, I am making a serious plea for your cooperation. Don't you be messing with me! I ain't handing it over and that's final! I'm just messing with you. Please understand where I'm coming from, Mr. Prosecutor. Being a reporter is a tough job, isn't it? Ah, so you're finally getting it. How has your job performance been? Um, well... I'm always trying to be the best reporter I can be. This here tape recorder, I always carry it by my side. Okay, I just want to say, you flawlessly did that. You didn't oh, make really? even one mistake. And you did... Because if you had chosen the other option first before the clue, don't press Okay, I'm that. not going to press it. I'm not going to press it. Because, <laughs> like, literally, you could not have done that more perfectly. Because if you had chosen the top dialogue option mm -hmm. first, and when she's like, I don't know what you're talking about, he's like, I, I don't have enough clues in order to proceed. And you have to go back to the beginning. Not to the very beginning, oh, wow. but to the start. I was like, okay. I see. If you're trying to be the best reporter that you can be... Then it would be unnatural for you to not have collected any news materials. You recorded it on your tape recorder, didn't you? The information regarding this case. Ah! Doggone it! There goes my exclusive scoop! That's right. I have it on my tape recorder. I can do it from here. <laughs> All the information I recorded for my articles right here. Hmm. Checkmate. Logic chess complete. Uh, logic chess. I would watch that anime. <laughs> <laughs> it's just like hot guys playing chess. <laughs> oh no! Prosecutor Edgeworth! <laughs> Don't do it! <laughs> you thought you had the upper hand, but you forgot about my rook! No! <laughs> it would be. Th that's amazing, Mr. Prosecutor. Before I knew it, you'd done me the chattering like a chipmunk. Let me hear what you have on the tape recorder. If I listen to the tape, I should be able to determine the exact number of gunshots. Fine, but I won't let you have it for free. Other than my mentor, you're the only person to push me this far. far. <laughs> this far? Four. 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 <laughs> In other words, you're going to be my second mentor. Yep, that's how it's going to be. I see. It's kind of like a second home, sir. And I got one more request. A 24-hour exclusive interview. Please, Mr. Prosecutor, this is my first and final request as your apprentice! This is difficult to accept, but unless I agree to it, I won't be able to listen to the tape. 24 hours is out of the question, but I will grant you an interview after we solve this case. But what 
what about being my second mentor? Also out of the question. Oh, don't be so ordinary. Well, I guess you can take what you can get. It's all for the sake of my new scoop. Time to get the ball rolling. Let's begin our exclusive coverage. Well then, Miss Swift, please begin the playback of the tape recorder for me. Click. My dear friends, there is a reason for my visit. Oh, I thought you just showed up out of the blue for no reason at all. <laughs> <laughs> I'm running for re-election. Vote for me. We're not in your country. <laughs> you Who's idea? You was this? <laughs> A few days ago, a smuggling green that has long plagued my nation was exposed and crushed. I see. This was the president's speech. I remember crushing that smuggling green. Uh, this is Nicole. The president passionately addresses the crowd. He, he's deflating the rumors flying around about a recent decline in his approval ratings. This was my own commentary. I tried to create the feeling of actually being there. Hmm. According to the schedule, there's a meeting after this. Y you oh, wait, no, this is someone else. Uh, <laughs> you seem quite pleased that the Yanagarasu incident has been resolved. Uh, oh, well, of course. It's a great honor for us as well. <laughs> Whose voice is this? Those are from the folks standing in front of me. I, I reckon it was two older men. <laughs> was it Mo? <laughs> <laughs> it sounded like him. They kept on whispering to each other. Where have I heard this voice before? Oh, the gunshot's coming up! The president raises his fist in the air. The atmosphere is boiling to a fever pitch. However, the battle is still not over. I declare, here and now, the hammer of justice shall be brought down upon all evil! To... What in tarnation? Whoa, whoa, whoa! Nicole's tape recorder data jotted down in my organizer. Maybe the president shot himself. <laughs> During his speech. <laughs> like, he has his hands underneath. He's just like... <laughs> and he raises one, he's like, The hammer of justice shall be him. <laughs> wow. That's Marty's theory. <laughs> you know what? It's not the weirdest thing that's happened in these games. I, that is true. It's not the weirdest theory I've had it's, either. It seems that... Two shots were fired. And what do you reckon? It's quite simple, really. Using the bullet's trajectory, we can deduce its flight path. Two shots were fired. One bullet hit the president. That means the other shot left a hole in the flag and punctured the balloon. Do you understand now? The location of the perpetrator who fired the gun... The bullet that struck both the flag and the balloon was fired from here. Just say it's in the president's spot. And we'll go <laughs> president <laughs> shot it. He had a, a curving bullet. Over here. That's right. The perpetrator definitely fired his gun from here. Um, would them bullets really be hitting the mark from there? It's Mr. Edgeworth we're talking about here, pal. I'm sure he has amazing logic to back it up. <laughs> and when it's all said and done, he'll show you another one of his brilliant deductions. I'm looking forward to it myself. Come on, Mr. Edgeworth. Do your thing. W wait a second. Let me think. Hmm. Hey, Mr. Prosecutor, don't don't be pushing yourself too hard now. Ah, th this is the right spot. Two shots were fired. I'm certain of it. Yeah, yeah, it's fine. All right. Well, <laughs> it has to be a spot. Could it be from the plane? The plane's not on there, though. Think about the trajectory, it'll go... Okay. Just the old man. Hey, that's supposed to... What? What, is it supposed to be there? It's supposed to be on this side? Yeah, apparently. I mean, you could have gone to that side as well. By connecting the bullet's marks from the flag and the balloon, we learn the bullet's trajectory. You'd have to kind of lean out, though, and then you'd see the gun. It's likely that the bullet was fired from the left side of the audience area. Bullets trajectory data and draw it down into organizer. Just what I'd expect from Mr. Edgeworth. Detective Gumshoe, I would like to investigate the left side of the audience area. Yes, sir! Wait, you mean we have to move all of these people? Yes, there's no time. We could be losing vital evidence for every second we let slip by. 
We must hurry. Y yes sir! Mentor number two! Hey, mentor number two! Miss Swift, I assume you are addressing me? Of course, mentor number two! This is my time to shine! I'm an expert at crowd dispersal! Light the torches and release the house and run them down! I appreciate your help, but please do not use those methods. Also, please stop addressing me as your mentor. I never agreed to that position. I hear ya. I'll try and keep that in mind, I mean, Mr. Prosecute. <sighs> I'm slowly slipping into Lotta, but it's fine. You are. <laughs> Lotta's not in the same case, so that's fine. <laughs> oh, thank goodness. But I still think you should do at least a different Southern accent, because I know you can do another a Southern accent. How? You did. What? You're only doing a high-pitched Southern accent. You do like yeah, a valley, do a Valley Girl accent. Oh my gosh! No, that's like. Hey y'all! I'm hey, Nicole Swift. I'm Billie Jean Blackwood. Yeah. Na no, she's she's like super young though. So she is Billie Jean like Blackwood. Uh, that's true. <laughs> Mr. Edgeworth, Hi. we're ready to begin the investigation, sir. I just, it sounds weird. Miss Swift was, uh, he, oh, oh, we're, oh, I cried. <laughs> sorry, <laughs> sorry, sir. I was eating tortilla chips earlier and I won't get caught in my throat. <laughs> Let me try that again. Miss Swift here was all over the crowd helping us round him up, sir. <laughs> this ain't nothing compared to the first mentor's mob wrangling skills. She seems to be used to this sort of thing. However, Miss Swift, all that running around seems to have caused your clothes. To be covered with mud. I'll take it care of the cleaning bill if you like. Uh, you talking about my park? No, don't, don't we worry about the little fancy head about the. I can't talk. <laughs> <laughs> she also got a corn chip stuck in her throat. <laughs> it's reversible. I can just flip it around later and it's as good as new. Oh, it's like a reversible part? That's cool. That won't do much for the mud stains, though. Well, Mr. Edgeworth, let's restart the investigation, sir crowd has made a mess of the crime scene. Who's the weirdo bobbing up and I down hope the, the traces right? of the criminal are still left behind. There's all them people. It's... Well, we'll have to do investigation number two next time on investigations two. Mm -hmm. So what do you think of the first case so far? I think it's cool. It's my second need... favorite first case. I like the poker one a little better. You like the poker one better with Uda? Yeah, with a prostitute. That's not... <laughs> I'm never gonna live that down, nope. am I? Oh, Marty, I've made a meme about that already. Wait, what? I haven't posted it, but I'll show you after this. You have to show me that. All right. Until we meet again, my friends, have a great day, and God bless. Tune in for the rest of this watch play. It's going to be amazing.